Alright guys, welcome back to another exercise execution video today with PB Fitness Academy. We're going to be taking you through the cable kickback. So this is going to be focusing on the glutes yet again. So, the way we want to set up for this is actually at a bit of an angle. So you see a lot of people, their faces straight on like that. But what they don't realise is one of the functions of the glutes is actually a slight abduction of the hip. So we want to be able to allow that movement as well because that's abduction of the hip there. We want to be able to allow that movement slightly. So you want to set up kind of not at a 45 degree angle but just at a slight angle so you're not directly straight on okay so we'll obviously do one arm one one arm one leg at the time here um, so you want to create a nice stable base with the non-working leg with a slight bend so you're going to allow for stability and you want to use your other arm to actually hold on to the machine or both arms to hold on to the machine um, for support so depending on how you set up is your preference what feels better for you Again, that's completely independent on how you prefer to do this exercise. So, we've got a small cuff here today that we're gonna use for the ankle. So you wanna put place it right at the bottom of the ankle joint and set up the, the cable at the lowest setting. So you wrap your foot around first and then you tuck, you clip it in with the clip at the bottom. Okay, so that's in position there now. So now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna walk back slightly so there's already tension. So I'm lifting the stack up already now. Then, I want to have a nice flat back and get in position like that with a nice bent leg, with my left leg bent because that's not working. And then I'm going to hold on and slowly twist to the side a little bit, like I said, like I just talked about, so we can have that slight abduction of the glute, okay? So then, I'm going to lift up slightly off the floor so there's no touching of the floor. So now I'm fully in control here and I feel the glute. Now I can go all the way back, okay? So now I've walked out enough, I've got that flat back, I'm in position. Now I can leave it go back into the starting position. Now I've got full tension of the glute and it's in quite a lengthened position there because I'm, I'm leaning forward as well. Then I simply want to drag my heels all the way back and squeeze. And again, like I just talked about, to get that peak contraction, you want to be on the side slightly. So you don't want to be straight on like this. You don't want to be going back like that. What you want to do is you're going to be at a slight angle, just like that, in the position there, feel the stretch and then drive and squeeze back. So you can see with the way my foot is now, it's at about a 30 degree angle, okay? So then slow on the way back down, feel the, the stretch and the lengthened range, and then drive back. Slow on the way back down, slight bend in the knee throughout, feel the stretch, and then drive back. Okay, I keep that up. For as many sets and reps stated on your specific program by your coach, if you've got any questions, head over to PB Fitness Academy. Make sure to repeat that for the other side as well. Thank you, and I'll see you soon.